Hello beautiful souls my name is Aparna Sood and welcome to TVC you and me professionally a project manager keen learner of psychology and a lover of life in today's episode we will look at the very most important issue a very crucial issue prevailing everywhere in everyone at some level that is loneliness you might be smiling and laughing all day but when you go to bed it strikes you how lonely you are there are so many people who can relate to this maybe you're working in different state away from home every day you feel how lonely you are there might be many of you who can actually relate to this one as well or maybe you're working in a different group where you do not belong you feel every second how lonely you are Some people might say loneliness is just a negative feeling. However, some might have learned to cherish it as it keeps them in the remembrance of their loved ones. So there are different faces of loneliness that we will discuss today in this episode. And by the end, you probably would like to dig deeper in yourself if there is an element of loneliness in you. And if yes, how to look at it? if it is causing you any mental and physical harm how to acknowledge it and in the end how to fix it so let us dig deeper the corona pandemic has surfaced many problems that were hidden in people you might have experienced this pandemic has resulted in families staying together under one roof for the longest period in a very long time some people enjoyed it however some families fell apart people realized how frustrated they were and how lonely they felt even when surrounded by people all the time at home when there was variation in their days they used to go out change their surroundings things were fine but when there was no change every day in the same house same people it really affected them badly really amazing like how can that happen it frustrated them on the same hand the other side of the coin will show you those like me who are away from their families they don't have a choice they cannot meet them they're totally alone The feeling of loneliness in this time is growing deeper and deeper. These are tough times for everyone and this feeling is not good for you. Why? Because loneliness is a negative emotion which drains you emotionally, mentally and physically. It can lead to depression which is absolutely not good and I don't need to explain that to you, right? So just ask yourself today, are you experiencing low self esteem do you have thoughts like nobody loves me i am bored with life do you often have anxiety when you are in social gatherings with a feeling that i want to go home i don't belong here do you have fear that you might be mocked or people will not understand you or will laugh at you do you get awkward when you can't say what you really want to say do you get conscious speaking your head Is there a feeling in you where you don't trust people and try to keep yourself away from others or maybe do you have a fear of making bonds with others that it might lead to disappointment if there is anything like this that you feel these are the symptoms of loneliness deep inside you you might not look at it and avoid it to cover yourself that i am the happiest person which is good It's okay but if deep inside these emotions are running you have to deal with them face them instead of avoiding them because you need to understand that one in 3 people out in the world feels lonely so you're not the only one you're not alone recently the uk government dedicated more funds towards charities working on loneliness there is an urgent need to reduce the stigma around this topic people feel embarrassed to talk about it openly it might present them as weak maybe you need to understand it is okay and to get rid of this feeling you need to share and accept it on your own first because 
to be very very honest with you sharing with others is a step too if you cannot accept something on your own to yourself first there's no point of just speaking to others because you do not feel it inside you so accept it on your own first Olivia Reams a TED Talk speaker talks about the consequences of loneliness she is very right to say that this has a deep impact on human beings because we are social animals none of us can survive without each other we need each other and if you are unable to fulfill that need no need to be ashamed of it you need to accept it and start looking for options to mitigate it Olivia is a researcher at the University of Cambridge. She has found numerous people in her journey so far and to be honest, every other person she encounters has loneliness issues or knows someone who has these issues. Now there are many people who have some of these issues but they don't know and they keep asking themselves, what's the matter with me? What's wrong with me? Why am I behaving or feeling like this? This is a form of self-criticism. Don't do that to yourself. Rather see if there is a problem. Is there a problem with my emotions? Acknowledge it. Reach out to get help and fix it. No need to worry. It is a human body and it is okay to have negative emotions sometimes. We can fix it. It is a simple equation, you see. The more you tell yourself you're devoid of something, the more your brain will create cravings for it. It can work in both directions if you see. If you look for happiness, you're more happy. If you look for sadness, you're more sad. And if you look for loneliness, you're more lonely. Now you would be thinking, who looks for sadness or loneliness, right? Well, Our brain is very clever. It is you who looks for them. Your brain follow patterns and it tries to make you go through the same road again and again which you have followed so far. Brain is a growing machine if you just think about it. It likes to follow patterns and make routines. Now, the best part is you have a say in it. You play the recording for it to follow. it is easier to get towards negative emotions because then the brain is low not working like us right we really don't like to work most of the time like we are always waiting for weekends where we rest so it is much like us you have to take the charge it is to force it to come out of these negative emotions and just leave that track as you do with your body every morning you have to go to work every monday morning you have to be forcing yourself to come out isn't it for us monday mornings are necessity even if we don't want to get out of the bed we will it's important but with brain we get lazy because the impacts are not seen immediately You don't fix your wiring and emotion patterns because the brain doesn't have a boss who will fire you if you don't operate properly. Ironically, you're avoiding the most important thing of your life that will drive all other aspects. A healthy brain leading to healthy emotions and healthy body. So if you are unable to deal with loneliness, It is because you haven't become the boss of your brain to tell it how to operate so it can change its programming. In a way, many people in the world are dying to get some time alone and live for themselves for just once maybe. And those who have this privilege and dote upon them, they convert it into negative emotions and call it loneliness. Once it's accepted by your brain that it is loneliness, it will grow deeper and deeper and then it becomes a mental health problem which can shape into depression again a serious serious mental health issue because the brain has absorbed these negative emotions now and it creates the same emotions every time so what to do let us dig deeper the answer is change your attitude to fight loneliness try to be more acceptable embracing and kind no need to start with others 
that oh today onwards i'm going to listen and talk to these people who currently i can't bear today i'll try to behave friendly well if you don't feel like it there is no need to just pretend to do things no need to go through that much struggle and pain start with yourself love yourself be kind to yourself if you need something do it for yourself and nobody else For example, you need a glass of water maybe and you can't reach the top to get a cup. Ask someone to help you. Stop struggling. You might not like to ask someone, but you're making yourself suffer. Be kind to yourself and others will be automatically kind to you. Start with yourself and eventually your attitude will change and you will radiate more friendly vibes. Initiate conversations with people. and eventually you'll build bonds i'll tell you my story i left home when i was 16 i went away to study usually people have friends following them or joining them well for me studies were more important so i didn't wait for companionship over there i went alone stayed with a new family eventually they started loving me and the bond was likewise i loved them i used to play with their kids eat with them on their dining table it was lovely but i was lonely inside as i didn't have my people there who i relate with but i just suppressed that and went along then i joined my undergrad engineering degree now i started building my career i taught at various places i was working as a radio jockey so again i was far away from hangouts with friends or staying home i was building on myself but the cost was loneliness inside eventually that surfaced i acknowledged it and i realized even with all the love and happiness around me i'm alone i have a feeling of you know loneliness in me whenever i sit alone outside i feel like going home or talking to my old friends that was serious i joined a spiritual group and there i learned more about who i am and what i am doing i understood that we are never alone Loneliness is a feeling that we house in ourselves and we don't let it go we have to let go i will start that i'm a soul going through this journey of life people will come and go change is the inevitable truth so what is loneliness if you think about it you and nature are one feel it embrace it so when i looked back the family i stayed with when i first moved out That was my new family. Why to stick with the old stereotype definitions of family? I learned to let go and embrace what is in front of me. Today, I'm in London, far away from home. I don't feel lonely anymore. I have a really big family here. My landlord is such a wonderful person, always helping. And bear in mind when I came here, I knew nobody at all. Today my professors are my family. We go out for lunch, have long talks, go for walks. My colleagues are my family. There is a tight hug every morning we meet. They are always encouraging me and motivating my work. When I need advice, which I mostly do, I bug them. And even if they are tired, they listen and guide me as family does. I remember once my shoe broke and I was at work and there was no way I could go and get a new one. My colleague literally fixed my shoe with a needle and thread. Now, if that is not family, I don't know what it is. I remember when I received my postgrad degree, my family was not here. Must have felt lonely, right? Mm, not really. I went straight to my lovely colleagues, opened it with them. They were making drum roll sounds for me. We clicked some pictures together. I got a beautiful plant as my graduation present. can it be better i don't know it was the best celebration for me so how can you be lonely when there is so much love around you i remember once i was busy at work and my shoulder was sprained i couldn't go out and get a spray for myself it was like 2 3 days because by the time i get home the shops were closed one of my colleague she went out and got me the medicines and spray and i was so touched that's family That's not your friends or anything that's family. I remember telling one of my friends that I haven't seen her around much and she offered to show me around and today she calls me her extended family. 
her family loves me my birthday was celebrated by them like a big festival so if this is not family what is so you cannot feel lonely when you have so much love around you you have to find it explore it and you'll definitely find love in every person you see around you i have never found a person who doesn't have love in them people are craving for some lovable gestures compassion and if you can take a step forward they will so you are not lonely until you choose to be share your problems share your doubts ask for opinions give suggestions take care of others take care of yourself when do you think this negative emotion of loneliness will kick in just imagine if you're always consumed with so much positivity so much love so much compassion it will never kick in eventually it will erase out of your system and your brain will rewire it is all about embracing your current state here now this moment that's it past is gone which you are clinging to the reason you feel lonely is because you might have had wonderful experience with your loved ones that's gone remember it happily don't get stuck in it your brain and body doesn't like to be stuck anywhere remember one thing you are a soul who is traveling on this planet and there is a long way to go and i will repeat this again and again in every episode until your brain accepts it embrace it so today if you are feeling lonely and you see any of the symptoms i discussed in this episode in you check yourself analyze and if it is there let's start working on it and the way to work on it is change your attitude take steps towards people look at things differently find positivity in everything and trust me when i say this every situation every person everything around you has something right about it something positive about it you just need to change your attitude do this and share your stories and experience with me on our website that is truth-bliss-consciousness.webador.co.uk or you can email me and talk to me and maybe we can take this further and i can help you so the email address is truth.bliss.consciousness@gmail.com i look forward to hearing your stories and as i always say let us speak together and grow together